up till now, whenever we've used sine, cos and tan, we've used the function on our calculator degrees. We've gone in, we've changed it from radians to degrees. It resets from rad to degree, to rad when we reset our calculators, and that's because radians is a far more practical measurement of an angle. So, in your ideas, angles are just measured in degrees, parts of circles. All right, there's 360 degrees in a circle, and we measure the angle as some distance around that circle. But we don't measure in life very many things in terms of degrees, only angles. We can't measure um, lengths and distances and heartbeats and heights and things in terms of degrees. So we have another measurement unit, which is called radians. And it's the one we use when we're practically doing problems. Now, the likelihood is that your assessment will be in degrees. But part of this topic is for you to know about radians as well. And radians bring into it another couple of formulas which are going to be useful for our assessment. So radian measurement works like this. You get a circle. All right, there's a circle. Now we know that the amount of the angle in the center of a circle from here right round to here, we call it a revolution or a rotation, and it is 360 degrees. We're measuring some sort of um, turn in our, in our degrees measurement. What we want to be able to do is measure some sort of length. So if I say that this is one unit, doesn't matter one what, then I can measure this angle in terms of how far round the circle I go. All right? So if I say, okay, this is 45 degrees. All right? How far round the circle have I gone? How far around, this is one hole around the circle. How far have I gone with 45 degrees? That far. How far have I gone with 180 degrees? Half, good, okay. Now, how far have I gone with 45 degrees? An eighth. So if this circle has a unit measurement, one in the middle, what is the measurement around the outside of the circle? What's the word we use for the measurement around the outside of the circle? Right, circumference. What do we use to measure that of a circle? 2 pi r. Good. So now we're coming towards radians. So one whole circle is how many degrees? 360 degrees is the same as one trip around my circle. So 2 pi and r equals unit circle. So that is our big secret. But we write the secret in terms of 1 pi. So what will 1 pi equal? Two pi is equal 360? 180. 180. Yes, it does equal 3.14. Blah, 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 blah. So what we're saying is that 3.14, blah, 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 as a length in radians is equivalent to 180 degrees. Okay, so 180 degrees in radians 
is pi, or 3.1415926, blah, 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 blah. That is the distance around a circle that has a radius of 1 equivalent to that angle. Now, this becomes more powerful because we can tell when we've gone right around the circle twice. So, normally if we went around the circle twice, we, it's still, we'd be back at the beginning at zero degrees as far as a measurement is concerned. But if we're talking about the length we went around the outside of the circle, then it would be one circumference, two circumferences. So, we would have two 2 pi, or 4 pi. So 720 degrees, twice around a circle, would be equivalent to 4 pi. 4 pi being 4 times this, so somewhere around about 12 and a half, as a length. <clears throat> Alright, so if we were talking about this circle in terms of metres, it would be 12.5 metres in length. All right, so we need a way of um, interchanging these, of converting between these two. So we need to be able to understand how to convert from radians to degrees and degrees to radians. So if we're looking at radians to degrees, um, let's look at degrees to radians first because we already know what degrees are. So this means that if I've got 45 degrees, the easiest way for me to do this is to keep my pi as pi rather than change it to 3.14. So I know a whole circle is 2 pi and I know I have an eighth of a circle. So divided by 8 means that 45 degrees is equal to pi by 4. Pi divided by 4. It has another value when we take pi out of it, but we don't have to use that. And that value is 0 0.7854, approximately. Sometimes in books, they will, they will want you to know that this is an angle measurement. So they might put a little C. You don't see it very often. We don't actually have to use it very much. But that little C means radians. means it's an angle measurement rather than it just being a number on a piece of paper. We are talking about something related to an angle. Okay, so what if we get something like 22 then? 22 degrees... What do you think we'll do to convert 22 degrees into radians? We need to find out what proportion of pi or 3 or 2 pi 22 degrees is. So we divide 3 by nearly that's the proportion of the circle, right? So we divide 22 by 316. It gives us our proportion like we did with 45 up there. So 45 by 360 was 1 eighth. That's our fraction. And then we multiply that by 2 pi. And that gives us our answer. And this time we'll take, I mean, we could leave. It could be 44 over 360 or 22 over 180 or 11 over 90. So it could be 11 pi over 90, but we're more likely to write it as, straight off our calculator, 22 ABC 360 times 2 shift pi equals 0 0.384. Zero. All right, can anybody, everybody understand that? So what are we doing? We are taking our degrees, 
dividing it by 360, multiplying it by 2 pi. So if we have to go backwards, if we're going from radians to degrees, Let's say 120, no, we don't want that. Uh, let's say four. Four radians. Well, it's just bigger than pi, so it's just bigger than 180 degrees, kind of a third of the way to the next one, right? So it's two pi is approximately six ish. So four is two thirds of that, so around about 240-ish, somewhere around about 240, okay? So if I was going around the circle, around to here is 3.1415, and about here is 4, yes? So what is this angle? It's past 180, it's not as far as 270, it's somewhere in there, I've guessed 240. How will I work it out, though? Go on, Elisa. And? Perfect. Exactly the opposite of what we were doing here. Because we're doing the opposite way around. So if we take that and put it in our calculator, we will get 4 divided by 2 pi equals times 360 equals 229.2 degrees. All right, so what are we doing? For degrees to radians, we're going degrees equals the radians divided by our 2 pi times 360. And it's as easy as that. And we're going to learn what they use for it.